27-19 brush as we begin the third. John Beltran with Jen Goodall back from Holyoke High School. Gregory Mayers, Gregory Dunker. Randy Baker, Mitch Tormolin, and Colby Needens for brush. Trevor Dalton, Austin Killen, Jeremy Loudensock, Alex Quintana, and Reed Baumgartner for Holyoke. Tormolin with a basketball. The outside right to Baker. Baker dribbling into the lane, backs it out. Colby Needens, left wing three, is no good off the front of the rim. And the rebound controlled by Baumgartner of Holyoke. Bounce pass to Quintana. Quintana on the outside right to Dalton, dribbles into the lane against Needens. Spins, picks up his dribble, outside right through the hands of Killen, but he's able to pick it up and then throws it through the hands of Loudensock in the right corner out of bounds. Turnover number 11 for the Dragons. I was just watching Jeffrey Dunker play defense on Bob Gardner, and he, he just left him. He didn't turn his back on everybody else, so it looks like they're doing like a little box and one on him. Bears into the front court. B-Diggers are on a 7 nothing run, dating back to the opening half. At the top for Baker. Baker against Loudensock, looking to his right. Dribbles to his right, spinning back out to Tormolin against Austin Killen. On the high left of Bears. Bears against Quintana to his right, crossover dribble. Back on the high right to Tormolin. Body very closely by Killen. He's almost eating him up there. Tormolin looking down low. Hands it off to Mares. Mares is a free throw line. Bounce pass outside right to Baker. Penetrate front baseline. Underneath the basket. Looking, still looking. Back out. Dunker. He'll take the corner. Three. No good. That was a two. And the rebound is controlled by Loudensock. Loudensock is second rebound. Over to Dalton. Bounce pass. Cross court. Quintana. Bank score. To the right of the basket for Alex Quintana. He's got seven. The beat digger lead us down to six. Here is Mares. He wants to run. Mares. Bounce pass to Baker. He hooks. And around and no good. Rebound to Loudensock. Loudensock jump pass to Quintana. Quintana one on two all the way. Scoops it up and in. Quintana now has four in the quarter, nine of the game. The beat digger lead us down to four. Holyoke has cut it in half, 27-23. We've played a minute 50 here in the second half. On the outside right, Baker with a basketball. Baker in the timeline to Mares, guarded by Baumgartner. Gregory Mares on the outside right to Dunker, penetrates right baseline, pulls up off the glass, good. A nice shot. Little seven footer by Jeffrey Dunker, his first field goal of the game. Quintana the other way at the free throw line. He pulls up from 12 off to the left, and the rebound is controlled by Randy Baker, a brush. Baker across mid court, lost the basketball, picks it up right baseline, stripped out of bounds. It will be brush basketball. The Beat Diggers leading 29 23 with 5.39 to go in the third quarter. Fly Valley Hearing Center, 417 Main Street in Brush, in Fort Morgan, that is, I'm sorry, getting your hearing to its very best. Torbolin banks and scores off the inbounds pass by Gregory Mayers. Torbolin scores his first points of the game, 31-23. The B-Diggers back to an eight-point advantage, 525 to go third quarter. Dalton bodied up by Needens, turns, looks, backs it out at the top for Bob Gardner, guarded by Dunker, and there is a foul on Dunker. Dunker didn't know where that foul came from. Either way, that's his third. Well, he's got to be her- careful with his hands. Like when you put your hands on anybody's hip and, and hold them or push them so that you're redirecting which way they're going to go, you're going to get that call. Dunker is out. Alpo is in. Bryce Needens is in. And also in for the beat diggers. Aaron Chokoff is in. For the basketball in the right corner. And we've got a whistle to foul. Baumgartner at the ball. Whistle away for the ball. Alex Quintana, offensive foul. That'll be his third, 12th turnover for the Dragons. I'm guessing that was an illegal screen type, type deal. Maris to throw it in with backcourt pressure. Maris is going to throw it off Quintana out of bounds. Oh, boy, got him in a bad spot. And Maris now trying to... Console Quintana. I don't think that was the intention. No, I don't think it was either. I mean, even Mayers felt bad that he got him in a very sensitive area of the body. And they exchange a small handshake, and Gregory Mayers will throw it back in. But, you know, that's unfortunately one of the risks you take when you're guarding that tightly. Yeah. And it looked like Mayers tried to throw it in off his lower leg, but sometimes... You shift your body, and that happens. There's the bounce pass to Albo in the backcourt. Albo's double team dribbles by both into the front court. Jump pass to Nina's wide open as Shokoff. He banks and he's blocked from behind by Baumgartner. 
Well, that's an excellent play by Baumgartner, and that pass went out of bounds. It was not tipped by Albo. I don't know where he was throwing it. I think he was expecting a cutter, but there was nobody there. Turnover for Holyoke. That is their 13th. And into the game is Tito Fierro. He needs to throw it in. Beat Niggers maintain their biggest lead of 8, 31-23. Under five minutes to go in the third. Harris with a two-on-two. Bounce pass to Shorkoff. He banks and scores. But Gregory Harris can run the floor with anybody. That he can. The Beat Niggers are now in a 6 nothing run. Brush 33, Holyoke 23. Baumgartner across midcourt. At the top, pulls up 17-footer. Yes, inside the three-point line for Reed Baumgartner and a 30-second timeout for the Dragons and head coach Scott Neely. 16 points for Baumgartner. Beat Diggers lead 33-25, 4.37 to go in the third. Well, I think you're going to see a lot more of that play that they just did. They're going to set a screen on top of the key for Baumgartner, and we have to be able to talk that that screen and then show and recover, help whoever's on him get over the screen a little bit better and keep him, you know, if he's taking a parking lot three versus one that's right on the line, that's going to make that difference too. Well, he's their offensive weapon. And as you mentioned, the beat diggers offensively are going to be successful if they're balanced. They've got eight in the scoring column already. Committed to serving those in production ag, Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. Once again, proving that your analysis is top-notch. Kind of curious. throw in is uh, <laughs> freaky. Uh, Greg Ramirez to throw it in. No, it's not freaky. Actually, it's very logical. Bears will run the baseline after a made basket over to Albo. Into the front court to Needens. Two on one. Needens left for the basket. Puts it up and short. Rebound controlled by Austin Killen. Killen will feed it out to Bob Gardner. Crossing the timeline. Picked up by Bears. Gets a pick. Bounce pass intended. In the left corner for Logan Zeidler into the game for the first time out of bounds. And what Aaron did differently on that one was he did come out and show while Gregory was getting screened. Maris to throw it in, 422 to go in the third, and bounce pass to Albo. Albo jump pass intercepted. Beat Diggers commit their fifth turnover. Here's Dalton on the left wing. In the left corner, Bob Gardner. He's picked up nicely by Albo. Over to Loudenstock. On the right wing, Zeidler spinning in the right corner. Now, single-team entry pass, poked away, taken, though, by Killen. Bounce pass down low and banking and scoring. It's Loudenstock. He got a lane to the basket. The Holy Oak deficit is down to six, 33-27. Here is Maris into the front court. Bounce pass to Needham's right corner. Needham's holding the basketball. Bounce pass went through everybody, but Albo's able to pick it up. To Maris, Albo in the left corner, fakes the three. He's going to have to back it out. Albo to his right. Now backs it out. To Gregory Mayers, 3.35 to go. Mayers stripped, and then he lost the ball. To Trevor Dalton, he thinkers commit their sixth turnover. Into the front court with the basketball is Baumgartner. Baumgartner against Mayers, dribbles to his right, and then Mayers commits the foul. That's his second personal. Garcia, Rosenbrock, and Tormolin check in for Albo, Shokov, and Bryce Needens. And to throw it in will be Trevor Dalton. Just beyond midcourt. Dalton to Zeiler. Guarded by Mares. Dalton to his left. Spinning on Mares. Bounce pass over to Loudensock. Guarded by Garcia in the lane. Going to have to back it out. Nearly picked off. Great Baumgartner has it. Mares right there. Baumgartner to his left. Mares going to back up to give himself some leeway there. Dribbling on Mares, left of the lane is Baumgartner, jump pass to Loudensock, left baseline, and he pulls up for a 10-footer in and out. The rebound is controlled by Killen, and then stopped by Rosenbrock. <laughs> Rosenbrock thought he had all ball, but both officials called it. Two shots for Austin Killen. Rosenbrock commits his second. Austin Killen. Has not scored in the game. We have three minutes to go in the third, and now he does. The free throw is in. Holyoke is on a 5 nothing run after the Beatnikers made this a 10-point lead. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer, Northern Colorado title, 205 West Kiowa in Fort Morgan, and the second free throw is in. Rush 33, Holyoke 29. Alex Quintana into the game for Trevor Dalton. Mayors, Colby Needens, Austin Garcia, Mitch Torbolin, Kyle Rosenbrock in for Brush. Mares to bounce it into Rosenbrock. He's double teamed in the backcourt. Front court pass taken by Mares. Beat Nickers have a four on three. Mares on the right wing. Backs it out. Rosenbrock on the left wing. Garcia. Wide open three. He'll take it and he'll throw up a brick. 
But the ball is in the hands of Gregory Bears. Right corner for Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock looking, still looking. To his left, bounce pass to Needham. Needham's back out to Bears, just across the timeline. Right wing, Needham. Wide open, three. Short. Rebound on a hop. Oh, no, the ball is tipped away. Garcia should have had it. Instead, picked off by Reed Baumgartner. Baumgartner, right corner, wide open. Zyder, three, is off the back of the rim. But the rebound to Loudstock. Turn, shoot, back, score. Loudstock was there. Nobody picked him up. It's now an 8 nothing run for Holyoke. 33-31, Brush, 2-12 to go, third quarter. Maris for Brush into the front court. Looking to his left. On the outside right to Rosenbrock. Right baseline for Garcia. Takes a dribble. Backs it out to Needens in the lane, and he puts it up and in and out on the little five-foot right-hander. Boy, that's nice shot selection, but it just didn't go down. Diner for Holyoke into the front court. Back out to Baumgartner. A Holyoke three can give them the lead with a minute 46 to go. In the third, Quintana. On the outside right to Baumgartner, picked up by Garcia. And Baumgartner pulls up for a three. That's an air ball. Colby Needens, he just forced that. Garcia played excellent defense there. Needens across midcourt. On the outside left, Rosenbach. Left corner, Mares. Three in the air. Yes! For Gregory Mares. His second trifecta of the game. He's got eight points. Rush 36, only 31. A minute 20 to go. Third quarter. Quintana across the timeline. Free throw line for Killen. On the left wing designer, dribbles to his right. At the top, Quintana spins at the free throw line. Jump pass down low. Killen is going to be blocked out of bounds. Get that out of here. That counterfeit doesn't belong in the bank. Tormolin was right there. As was Colby Needham. They swipe it away. Holyoke to throw it in. To the right of the basket, it'll be Baumgartner. On the outside left to Killen. Back out to Quintana. Right wing cider. In the right corner, Baumgartner. Guarded by Rosenbrock. Now to Killen. Fakes the three. Dribbles to his right, right of the lane, 10-footer, off the bottom of the backboard. Mitch Tormolin grabs his 10th rebound. The outlet to Garcia. The beat diggers have weathered the storm after Holyoke went on that 8 nothing run. They lead by 5, 50 seconds to go in the third. Bears across midcourt, picked up by Quintana, picks up his dribble, bounce pass to Rosenbrock. On the outside left, guarded closely by Loudenstock. Outside right, Needham, 3 in the air. Ten. He's got 10 in the game. The beat diggers are now on a 6 nothing run, 39-31. Killen down low, Quintana backs and scores to the left of the basket. That's a breakdown you were talking about earlier in the game that happened right now. Quintana sticks in the quarter, 11 in the game. Mares the other way. In the right corner for Garcia, 21 seconds to go. Jump pass to Mares. Mares looking to his right. Gregory Mares spinning, still spinning. In a dribble. Right in the free throw line, picks up the dribble. Back out to Garcia, pulls up 16-footer. Good. For Austin Garcia, his first point of the game. Beat Diggers by eight. Four seconds to go. Baumgartner right baseline, bodied up by Rosenbrock, and they're going to call foul on the floor. Rosenbrock commits his third, and for the Beat Diggers, it should be their 14th foul. It is 2.6 seconds to go in the third. Zyler is out. Trevor Dalton is in. Dalton must be a three-point threat, although he has not scored in the game. Bob Gardner to throw it in. He might get the ball right back. Trainers, that's my guess. And the ball was off the leg of Rosenbrock. And they're going to call kicking violation. One and a half seconds to go. Yeah, now Rosenbrock, or check that, uh, Bob Gardner can't take the shot with only a second and a half. Over to Dalton. Takes a long two. No good. Off the front of the rim. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. Brush 41. Olio 33 on 1010 KSIR. And KSIR.com. The Bay Diggers are going for the sweep for the second time in a week. The Bay Diggers are going for a sweep on the road after they defeated Fort Morgan last Saturday. Lady Bay Diggers won 52 35 tonight against Holyoke. The boys are up 41 33. We go to the fourth. Holyoke basketball. Trevor Dalton nearly stripped by Maris gets the ball right back. Bounce pass to Austin Kill on left baseline. Guarded by Tormolin, back out to Quintana in the lane all the way, scoops it up, misses foul. Tormolin and Baker were right there for Brush, and one of those two committed the foul, and the foul is going to be on Mitch Tormolin. That is his second. Alex Quintana to the line. Well, they switched up their defense. They went from a matchup zone into a straight man-to-man. Quintana can make this a two-possession game, but he's got to make both, and he made the first. Quintana has 12 points in the game. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety, the Brush Grocery Cart. Second free throw to be attempted by Quintana in the air. And in eight of his 13 points are in the second half. 
Rush 41, Holyoke 35. Across midcourt is Maris. Picks up his dribble. On the outside left to Colby Needens. Needens is Dalton. Gets a pick from Tor Mullen at the free throw line. Right corner for Maris. Maris looking, still looking, spinning. Right corner now for Dunker. Dunker, overhead pass on the left baseline to Randy Baker. Back out to Maris. Right baseline for Dunker. Leans in the lane and feeds it over to Needens. Stripped from behind by Quintana. Out of bounds, beat Digger basketball. With 7.18 to go in the game, beat Digger's up by six. Gregory Maris to throw it in. Maris looking, right corner, Torbolin, back out to Dunker. Dunker, overhead pass, left corner to Maris, back out to Needham, left corner for Maris. Maris to the basketball. Left of the lane for Dunker, then he threw it away. Intercepted by Trevor Dalton, brushes, turned it over seven times. Quintana on the right baseline, spinning on Baker. Baker cuts him off, back out to Loudensock. Loudensock bounce pass, anticipating Gillen was being there, picked off by Torbolin, all the way, banks it up and missed it. And the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds, but first a foul. And I think that might be going against Brush. It is. The foul is on Colby Needens. That'll be a second. Yeah, that's too bad for Mitch. He made a nice move in the lane. Could not finish off the play. The beat diggers would have been back up by eight. Instead, it's still a 41-35 game. 6.45 to go from holding up with the beat diggers in the lead. Quintana crossing midcourt at the free throw line, spinning, picks up his dribble, looking. He's going to hand it off to Baumgartner. Baumgartner spinning, nearly stripped, dribbles the ball off his foot and tried to throw it in, and he throws it off a beat digger out of bounds. Well, the beat diggers defensively have been very, very solid. They have been, and, you know, they're trapping now, so they're kind of throwing them off a little more, and it's starting to wear on them mentally, I think, but they're starting to get real frustrated. Three quarters court, Baumgartner to throw it in. Check that. That's Dalton into Quintana. Poked away by Baker. Quintana, though, has it. And the pass to the free throw line for Killen. Steps in. Blocked by Torbolin. And Baker tries to save it in. And it does to Torbolin. Here come the beat diggers. Dunker across midcourt. Three on three. Left wing to Needens. Needens back out to Baker. Baker left to the lane. Then he was tripped up by Quintana. And that'll be his fourth foul. And that'll be the second team foul against Holyoke. The beat diggers have six. So. Any fouls will send Holyoke to the line from here on out with 6.20 to go in the game. Brush 41, Holyoke 35. We've been there for about a minute. Gregory Maris to throw it in. Let's see if the Beatnikers can extend to a three-possession lead. Maris looking, left corner for Tor Mullen. Overhead pass to Baker. Dribbles by two into lane. Leans, banks, misses. Foul is Randy Baker. Randy Baker does not lack any aggression. The foul was committed by Austin Killen. That's his second foul. And if Baker makes at least one... He would give Brush a three-possession lead. He's got two points tonight on two free throws in the opening quarter. The sophomore bends, spins, shoots, swish. You know, every player has their little knack. You have flashers. You have spot-up shooters. You have, you know, the, just the plain post players. Randy is a flasher. If that's what his favorite move is. He tries to make it two for two and four out of four in the game. Second free throw is up, and that's perfect as well. The Diggers back up by 43-35. 6.14 to go in the game. Quintana crossing midcourt. Bounce pass, right corner, Baumgartner, wide open three. That's in and out, and the ball is tipped into the hands of Gillen. Resetting his Holyo. Bounce pass, Quintana, back to score. Timeout, Scott Dilly of Holyo. We'll take it with him. 6.04 to go in the game. Rush, 43, Holyo, 37 on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Gregory Maris will throw it in for the beat diggers. He will run the baseline after a made basket in the backcourt to Dunker. Back out to Maris. Maris underneath his own basket. Picked up by Baumgartner behind the back. Nicely into the front court. Maintaining the dribble. Over to Mitch Torbolin on the high left. Beat diggers lead 43-37. High right for Baker. Guarded by Loudensock. Baker hands it off to Maris. Needens, Torbolin, Dunker, Baker, and Maris for brush. Baumgartner, Dalton, Killen, Quintana and Loudensock for Holyoke. Torbolin on the high left. Over to Baker at the top. Guarded by Loudensock. On the outside left, Needis. Wide open three. He'll take it. He'll miss it. In and out. A rebound to Baker underneath the basket. Back out to Dunker. Down low Torbolin. Fouled in the lane as he missed the shot. A nice job by the beat diggers there. Good and ball movement. Made him shift and overload one side. To the line is Mitch Torbolin. The foul is committed by Reed Baumgartner, his second. Torbolin to the line. He's got two points on the night. 
And the junior shoots, and that one is off to the right. Well, he's got to make one for a three-possession lead. Ben Salvo is in. Jeffrey Dunker will take a breather on the bench. The beat diggers are not big at all, but they've got a lot of big-time athletes on that floor. They do. And it's just substituting. I think that's what's bothering the Dragons the most. Second free throw back rimmed. Rebound to Killen. Killen grabs his seventh. The outlet to Quintana. Quintana at the free throw line. Right of the lane. Nearly traveled. Still looking. Spins it back out. Bob Gardner faced the three steps and leans. And he's fouled as he misses. I think Baker got him with the body. And Baker has committed foul number three for him. Baumgartner to the line. This could be a little bit of a four-point swing if he scores. Baumgartner, though, has just two points in the half. He had 14 in the opening half. Free throw is up and good. 1305 Edison Street and Brush, your local Napa Auto Parts store, CNC Auto Parts, and Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan as equitable savings and loan. Second free throw is up and off to the right. And the ball is loose, still loose on the floor. It looked like it was kicked by a dragon. That should be beat digger basketball. Are they just going to call it a tie-up between Baumgartner and Torbola? Either way, it is brush basketball. 43-38, 5.07 to go in a slow-moving fourth quarter. Rosenbrock in the backcourt. Rosenbrock across the timeline. Watch out for behind, dribbling to his right towards the baseline. Picks up the dribble. Back out towards Needham. Needham's over to Mares. Gregory Maris has set up the beat digger offense. Dribbling to his right, gets a pick from Rosenbrock. Maris, overhead pass to Albo, fakes the three, steps in all the way, scoops it up around, no good. And the ball is tied up between Rosenbrock and Quintana. That remains with Rush. Gregory Maris to throw it in. Bounce pass in the right corner, Tormolin, back out to Albo. Right corner, Mares, wide open three is up and off to the left. And the rebound control by Quintana, stripped away by Needham. v diggers now trying to take advantage. And then they throw it away into the bench. That was actually Kyle Rosenbach with that strip. So Holyoke's got a chance to draw the within three, maybe two with a three-pointer. Loudensock inbounds it to Dalton. 4.25 to go. Dalton against Albo in the lane all the way. Left-handed left up and in. The beat digger just broke down there. Dalton scores for the first time. Long pass. And Rosenbrock is fouled by Loutenstock off that long pass. Foul is on the floor. I don't know why anybody's doing. That was clearly contact. Third foul. Yeah, I, I don't get the booing. The contact was clear. Maris to throw it in. Beat Diggers lead by 340-340 in the lane. Needham misses the shot off the bottom of the rim. Ball is loose. It's out of bounds. It's off the Beat Diggers. Gregory Maris goes into the first row of the bleachers there that are not occupied by anybody, but he it is body hard in there. He's okay. His play will continue after like the he, Dragons inbound it. And like he's got a full time on round. 4.13 to go in the game. Brush 43, Holyoke 40 on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Beat Diggers lead 43-40, to 40, but this game is in question right now. Alex Quintana with the basketball with 4.10 to go. Holyoke with the ball. And Rosenbrock shoots Baumgartner. Rosenbrock all the way. He shoots and he misses, but Baumgartner commits a foul. Boy, defense can win you basketball games, and Rosenbrock has made a big play, even though there's plenty of time left as Holyoke commits. Their 17th turnover of the game. And that was in the backcourt, a tremendous strip. Like I said, I think the senior is kind of underestimating our freshmen. Great throw is no good. The beat diggers are two out of five in the half. They did not shoot a free throw in the third quarter. Second free throw is up, and that is in and out. Rebound to Loudensock. Olio can still tire with a three. Quintana into the front court, right of the lane, all the way, tries to scoop it up, and that's too strong. And the ball is tried to be saved in there by Loudensock. His foot was on the end line. Eight digger basketball. Dunker and Baker replace Albo and Torbolin. Good defensive play by Rosenbrock moments ago, but too many missed free throws for Brush so far. 
Mayer's long baseball pass to Rosenbrock along the right baseline. Wide open was Saker. He feeds it to him, and he backs and scores to the left of the basket. Rosenbrock finds Baker. That's nice when a freshman can find a sophomore. 45-40. to 3.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Marsh leading Holyoke on the outside left. Quintana with a basketball. Gets a pick, and then we get a foul. Looks like a beatnicker tried to fight through a pick. One and one situation. Oh. And they're going to say it's on Rosenbach. Yep. That'll be his fourth. Reed Baumgartner to the line. Eighteen foul for the beatnickers. Yeah, this one's going down to the wire. Baumgartner's free throw is up and around and no good. Randy Baker grabs the rebound. It's a huge miss. Long baseball pass to Mayers. He takes his goal. Oh, I think it was Fletcher who found him. And Mayers now with 10 of the game. Beat Diggers lead 47-40, a three-possession lead with only 3.20 to go. Baumgartner across the timeline on the outside right against Rosenbrock. Near the top, beating Dalton. Dribbles to his left, left of the lane. Cut off by Baker. Backs it out to Quintana. Quintana to his right. Overhead pass is taken by Baumgartner. Right of the lane. Baumgartner spins back out to Killen. On the left baseline, here's a 10-footer by Loudensock. Loudensock scores. He's got six. Draws 47, Holyoke 42. 2.55 to go from Holyoke. Maris on the outside left of Dunker. Dunker looking to his left. Back to his right to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock dribbles by Killen. A defensive foul on Killen. 17 foul against Holyoke. For Kill in his third personal, and Rosenbrock to the line. For tonight, he is 0 for 3. One and one situation for the beat digger freshman. And we'll take that free throw momentarily, like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Greg Mullen is there. Let Greg Mullen work with you to get the discounts you desire and the coverage you need. State Farm agent Greg Mullen. Great throws in the air. Yes. Kyle Rosenbrock trying to deliver a knockout punch and give the beat diggers a seven-point lead, and that one is off the back of the rim and bounces off. Rebound, Alex Quintana. That is his fourth. It's only a six-point game with 2.39 to go. Dawson, middle of the lane, beats it over Loudensock. Ten-footer, close, and a big shot for Loudensock. It's only a four-point game. Dunker in the backcourt, 2.28 to go. Dunker across the timeline, picked up by Baumgartner. And we've got a timeout. Let's see if this is a 30 or a full. Either way, we'll keep it right here. 2.24 to go. Well, and I think Coach Garcia is making a good argument right there. Baumgartner's got his hands in there just like Kyle did on Baumgartner. So I think Baumgartner should have been called for a hand check and fearing the player, if you will, so I, I think he has a good argument on that one. Rush 48. Only up 44. The 2.24 to go in the game. And it's getting late. Let's see the bay diggers can pull this one off. Boy, I happen to flip my head. I know. I'm about ready to fall off. Yeah. You notice I keep bouncing, trying to like... Uh, you did that two hours ago, my friend. I know, but it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Deedon's the trigger in for Brush in the backcourt to Gregory Maris. Maris across the timeline, picked up by Baumgartner. On the outside left of Bryce Deedon's. Deedon's against Quintana, gets a pick from Baker, spinning at the free throw line, bounce past Baker, left baseline. Baker left to the lane to Deedon's. Left wing three is well up to the left. Rebound is loose in the floor. Picked up by Bob Gardner. Looked like he traveled. He did. Oh, God. All the old fans don't like that at all. This is going to be a dog fight here shortly. Harris to throw it in for Brush. With 2.05 to go in the game. Beat Diggers lead by four. Harris looking, still looking. Near the top to Austin Garcia. Garcia spinning back out to the right to Baker. Baker, right corner. Maris wide open three. It's short. And Baker is going to go to the line. Lee Baumgartner went way over the back. Baumgartner commits his third foul, 18 foul. And this will be a one and one situation. Either way, the beat diggers will still have a two-possession lead. Baker's come through in this quarter. He's got four of his six points in the quarter. 
Well, and he's keeping after the rebound, too. That's what's helping him. You know, he didn't have to go after that, but he got Baumgartner to get another foul because he did. To the line, Randy Baker. If he makes it, he'll get a second free throw. Free throw is up. Baker is five out of five from the line tonight. Seven points in the game. Rush 49, holding up 44. Second free throw is a rainbow that's short. Baker grabs all his out, and misses. And then we've got a tie for the ball. Three players go to the floor. Baker lounge shot it for a ball into the floor. That'll be Holyoke basketball. Amazing that Baker was able to grab that rebound and not be called for a lane violation. Oh, he waited. I was watching his feet. He didn't. No, I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he committed it, but that is where he one it. stride to get there. Here come the Dragons. Dalton into the front court. Outside left to keep down a long three. It's off to the left, and the Beatniggers grab the rebound. Gregory Mares has it for Brush. On the outlet to Kyle Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock with a minute 35 to go. Brush 49, holding out 44. Dunker to his left against Quintana. Over to Needham. Needham's left of the lane. Down low to Rosenbrock. Back out to Mares. Mares is not going to shoot. Gregory Mares to his left. Spinning on the outside right to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock at the top. A minute 19 to go in the game. Holyoke's going to have to foul. Beatniggers won't shoot. Dunker down near the timeline to Mares. Back out to Dunker. One minute and 11 seconds to go from Holyoke. Beatniggers looking for the sweep. Terrible entry pass intercepted. Here comes Quintana the other way. And then he lost the ball in the front court and Needham's went down. And Quintana committed the foul. And Quintana might be hurt. That will be his fifth foul. He's going to foul out as the team did exchange turnovers. It looks like he rolled his ankle when he landed on that one. Yep. We've got a minute four to go. Quintano was a little bit out of control. He never really had control of the basketball in the front court. Well, and good job of Colby Needham hustling down there, too, to make sure that he just didn't get a free layup. Yeah, Quintana gets up limping. And it doesn't matter in terms of his participation for the rest of the game because he has fouled out. But let me tell you, that's a huge player to foul out. He had 10 of his 15 points in the second half. And now Colby Needham's to the line. Needham's with a one-and-one, one, only the 19th foul. A minute four to go. If he can make two, the beat niggers would have a three-possession lead. The free throw is up and good for Needham. Needham's now with 11. Rush 50, holy of 44. This is for a seven-point lead. It's up. It's in. Holyoke is not going to score in every possession. They're in big trouble now. Dalton on the outside left against Bears. Looking for Baumgartner. Can't find Baumgartner. Overhead pass is taken over there. Now in the right corner for Loudensock. To Dalton. Dalton is trapped by Mayer. Straight away to Gillen. Gillen left wing Baumgartner. Wide open three. No good. Rebound in the lane. The put back in the score by Logan Clark. Logan Clark, who has not scored tonight, got the rebound. Was able to bank it in with 45.2 seconds to go. He tries to convert the three-point play. The Beatniger foul was committed by Jeffrey Dunker, his fourth. That keeps Holy Oak in the game. It does. Here's the free throw by Logan Tharp. That's in the air, and that is in. Timeout by the Dragons. 51-47. We are straight up at the top of the hour. I'm John Beltran with Jen Goodall. 10 o'clock in Colorado. This is 10-10 KSIR. Frosh, Fork, Fork, and Greeley. The beat diggers are 45.2 seconds away from completing the sweep tonight. Lady beat diggers 152-35. The boys are up 51-47. Their biggest lead has been 10. But Holyoke has come back fighting after the Logan Tarts three-point play. And this could have come down like it always does in close games to free throws. That for the foul. Beat to foul trouble. Foul trouble was also the other. Jeffrey Dunker has four for Brush, as a style Rosenbach. Alex Quintana has fouled out for the Dragons. Three apiece for Jeremy Loudensock, Austin Killen, and Reed Baumgartner. So they have more fouls to kill with some of their players. It'll be Killen, Loudensock, 
along with Pietro, Reed Baumgartner, or actually Baumgartner's now out because of the fouls, Logan Tharp, and also into the game, as Mares to throw it in, the dunker back to Mares, Mares in the backcourt to dunker, will reset the line as momentarily to Needham on the right wing to Tormolin, holding the ball up high, Tormolin fouls by Tharp. Double here comes, bonus. Here comes Baumgartner for the offense then, which... Tormolin to the line, Tharp commits his first foul. Loudensaw Killen, along with Fierro, Tharp, and Dalton for Holyoke. Free throw. Short. Kyle Rosenbrock coming in to play defense on Baumgartner coming in to play offense. Edens is out. Rosenbrock, as you mentioned, in, along with Mares, Tormolin, Baker, and Dunker. And Mitch Tormolin has struggled tonight offensively. 11 rebounds, but only two points and a throw out of three for the line. Second free throw. Short again. A foul by Baker from behind. That is a horrible foul. Baker commits his fourth. Baker's played an excellent game, but you cannot foul off a missed free throw when you have no shot of getting the rebound, and even he knows that. And Jeremy Loudesock will now shoot the double bonus. Yeah, the beat diggers in the fourth quarter have not been good for the line. That free throw is off to the line. Holy cow. Loudesock. that on the rim. Yeah, Baker's now out because of the four fouls. The beat diggers obviously will have the ball. Well, and Baker's an excellent free throw shooter, so you kind of want him in the game. He's five out of six. Second free throw is good. It's now a three-point game, a one-possession game. Dunker is fouled in the backcourt by Tito Fierro, his first. Two free throws for Jeffrey Dunker. The beat diggers in the quarter have missed eight free throws. Well, check that. Yeah, they have missed eight free throws. Dunker, spin, shoots, connects. That's a big one. That is a big one for Dunker. Out going back to team, Mr. Baumgartner. 52-48. <laughs> Plenty of time. 34.1 seconds to go. Dunker bends, shoots, and that one is in. The beat diggers now lead by five. 53-48. Dalton picked up by Dunker across the court, right baseline, all the way, scoops it up and in off the glass. Timeout. 30-second timeout by Olio. The beat digger defense played Olay there. As Dalton went right by the beat digger defenders. And he only took up seven seconds, less than seven, 27.9 to go. Well, and we're going to have to move the ball around. Otherwise, it's going to turn into a longer game. Rush 53, Holy Oak 50. Your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs. Morgan Federal Bank, 321 Ensign Street. Morgan Federal Bank, there's a difference. Member FDIC equal. Housing. Lender. Loudon Sock, Tharp, Dalton, Killen, and Fierro for Holio. Mares, Dunker, Rosenbrock, Needens, and Tormolin for Brush. Mares to throw it in. In the backcourt to Dunker. Dunker is fouled by Tharp. The second. Dunker to the line. The beat diggers in this quarter from the line are 8 out of 16. This will be their 17th and 18 free throws of the quarter. They did not shoot a free throw in the third. Yes. Dunker connects. Five points of the game. More importantly, with 26 and a half seconds to go, Dunker gives Brush a two-possession advantage. Second free throw for the sophomore. Ben shoots, and in and out. Tormolin has a rebound! In the left corner, he gets it over to Colby Needham. Tormolin's 12th rebound was his biggest of the night, and Holyoke commits the foul. And that is a smart, smart play by Mitch, because he's been struggling tonight a little bit. He was smart enough to get to a player that hasn't been struggling tonight. 
offensively. Needham's to shoot two. Loudon Sock with a fourth foul, and Needham broke it, although he got a lot of rim there, and it went down. Because Mitch Tarmolin, Captain America, has been busting his butt on the rebounds, and that's exactly why this is where we're at right now. Second free throw is up, and in. Now the beat here is by six. Holy oak needs threes. Only 20 seconds to go. Dolphins a bottom finger off his right leg out of bounds. Beatsnicker basketball. That is 20 turnovers for Holyoke. The Beatsnickers only have nine. Maris is oh, going to get it in. Over to Needham for the backcourt. Back out to Maris. And Maris is balled with 15.4 seconds to go. And the foul was committed by Trevor Dalton. That's his third. And if Maris hits one, we can safely say the game is over. It will be a three-possession lead with 15.6 seconds to go. 15.4, that is. If Maris free throw is up, and in. that will cement the win for Brush. They're up by seven. 57-50. Second free throw up coming. It's been a battle for the beat diggers. They've led most of the way, but Holyoke has come back every time. Second free throw is up, and that is a round and good. Here come the Dragons. Dalton with 12 seconds to go to Baumgartner. Down low for Tharp. Dribbles. Throws it off the bottom of the net, and they still call foul. Boy, that was totally forced. Foul is committed by Tor Mullen. That's his third. Logan Tharp to the line, but it's an eight-point lead with only 8.4 seconds to go. All they're going to do is pad the stat sheet. Free throw is up, and it's off to the left. And Gregory Maris might as well break down the court as soon as the ball is shot. Then he might. We've seen that already. Second free throw by Logan Tharp is up, and that is a brick. Rebound to Tor Mullen, an appropriate way to end this game. Tor Mullen unofficially grabs his 13th rebound and is fouled. Captain America. I love those shoes. Yeah, they are great shoes. I'm a little jealous. Little stars and stripes. I, they didn't even make shoes like that when I was growing up. It wasn't that long ago. I know. Free throw by Tor Mullen. Can he connect? And he does. <laughs> a sigh of relief, yeah, deep breath. <laughs> the beat diggers now lead by nine, fifty-nine, fifty. For Mullen, only one out of five from the line, but who cares? Second free throw, that is short. Rebound to Killen, and that will be the game with three seconds to go. Two, Bob Gardner, jump pass, Loudon Sock misses the jumper, and the game is over. Final score tonight, Brush 59, Holyoke 50. It's a two-minute break on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.